All of these amazing Nelson Mandela photos are done by him. Let's hear all about it. Hi. Hi, thank you very much and thank you for giving me an opportunity. This is a selection of pictures that were taken from his um, inauguration in South Africa, which was in 1994, through to his, uh, his passing in about 2013. Um, I was a news photographer uh, working for the Pretoria News in the 80s and in the, uh, in the 90s I went on my own and the last few years of his life I was the family photographer. What was that like? It was unbelievable. People always say that he had an amazing aura but he absolutely did. Um, it's amazing that you chose this because he, he used to meet the Miss World girls every year and yeah, he's with Miss USA and she can attest to the fact that he knew everything about every girl's country and he would ask a very intelligent question when he met them he just had a special rapport with the girls and even yeah Mariah Carey and then when he met the celebrities they used to walk in there looking like a million dollars they spent 10 seconds with him and they walking out crying hair running makeup all over the place it was just the moment was too big for them so being around him so often what did you learn the most Oh, he had an amazing ability to, to unite people and make you feel so special. And that was one of the things that, that stood out for everybody in South Africa and probably the world. His ability to forgive despite what happened to him, despite what, um, all his years in jail. But he walked out there and he saw the good in everybody. And he had the ability to unite South Africans and unite the world. It's an amazing legacy. These, these pictures are a tribute to him so that we can try and remember him forever and ever. He was an amazing guy. So bringing these pictures from South Africa, from Nelson Mandela, here to Orlando, what, how do you feel like this is important to hear? Well, the film fest or the, the, the peace fest is, is unbelievable. When I heard about it, um, Nina and Marilise uh, um, uh, Dingman saw my pictures and they knew about the pictures and they said, please, we've got to get you to Orlando. And I said, my pleasure. I'd love to come and see you guys again. I haven't been here for a while. I have been here once before. Brought my kids to Disney. But everyone tells me that's not Orlando. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, we wanted to put it up with a festival. And it just ties in so well with a peace festival because that's exactly what he preached and what he practiced. What are some of the most memorable moments that you captured in these photos for you? Well, his inauguration is a very special picture. I was the official photographer at his inauguration. So that was very special because we printed 2,600 copies and got them out to every head of state from around the world by the time they came out of lunch. So you can imagine the pressure on that picture. There's no room for a mistake. Um, his birthdays were very special because it was intimate. Only family and close friends were there. Um, and then for me, one of the biggest pictures was when my daughters met him. When that happened, I felt like I could die and go to heaven because I, it was just so special for him to meet my girls. And the funny thing is that, he, you know, they, on the way there, they were still young school girls. They said, Dad, you know, uh, Connie, come to our school, Connie. And I said, don't be crazy. He's so busy. You'll never have a chance. And typical Madiba, in his style, the first thing he said was, thank you so much for taking time to come and visit an old man like me. You know, he just made people feel so at home. And then the next thing when they said, what school are you at, Cornwall Hill? He said, oh, can't I come to your school to visit you? You know, Dad, you see, I told you he'd visit us. But that's how he was. He knew exactly how to make everybody feel at home and feel very, very special. So you called him a nickname there. What was that? Madiba. Yeah, that's South Africans call him Madiba. It's a father figure. That was a nickname that we called him. But yeah, that's a pretty well-known name. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Anything else that you want us to know about Nelson Mandela that you learned through the photos? I'm sure you became his friend in, in a way too. Yes, he had, he had, you know, he was, it became very special because he obviously knew me by name and so on. So he would, he would, he would share jokes with me. He had a very cheeky personality and he would crack jokes when we, when we were together and things like that. He used to tease his daughters because they couldn't, um, because they couldn't speak Afrikaans. So, and he was very proud of the fact that he could speak Afrikaans. So, uh, but his, his forgiving nature was just one that, that, that stood out and his welcoming persona. That was for everybody just very, very special. Thank you. I, sorry, I hope that we can just keep his legacy going on for as long as possible because it'll be a while before we have another Nelson Mandela. Cool. We will never have another Nelson Mandela. Yeah, I agree with you. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you.